Hey, hi again, and welcome to yet another lecture. In this lecture, I'll show you how to ask a good programming question. As I mentioned in the previous lecture, asking a good programming question is very important to get a good answer. And let me first show you what's a bad programming question. Mm, for instance, I'm going to click on ask question. And here is the title of the question. A bad programming question would have a very generic title like that. And here is the body of the question where you, ha where you have to describe your question in detail. Some people, they just say, I got an error when trying to to numbers. And I just pause the question. A better question would be to um, include the error, uh, the code there that you, you executed like that. However, that is also not enough because you also need to show the error message. So let me delete this and a good programming question would be when we're talking about questions that have an error, uh, questions uh, uh, that talk about an error that you got in your code. Mm, so this is your code. A good title would be to include the error message. So that one would be a good fit. If it's a very long message, then you can also uh, you can uh, choose to include only the name of the error without that. And then a good question would be, hi, around the following code and expected to get division in the last print domain, but but I got an error. Here is my code. So you put the code there, the, your entire script. Don't worry if your question is long, it's better to be long than to be incomplete. And here is the error. And here, make sure to include your, your entire error traceback, including the output as well. So from this line of the command line up to the next line. So this entire thing goes to your question. Just copy it. Don't worry if it's long. Can you help? So that would be a good programming question. Now this is still missing something very important. And that is the highlighting of the code. You need to select the code and click on this icon here. The error as well. And let me pose the question. External links must provide free educational content. Just click on proceed. And here is a question here. Are, and here is how it looks like on the other end. So this question has four good elements that make it a good question. The first element is that uh, the poster is mentioning what he or she expected to get as output from the script that he, uh, they were running. So it says that uh, I was expecting to get the division in the last print statement, which is this one here, but I got an error. So the first thing is you need to include the expected output. You need to explain what you were expecting, because uh, otherwise, if you don't explain what you were expecting, that the other person who, who wants to help you doesn't know the goal of your code or of your question, so it doesn't know how to help you to reach to that goal. So expect output is the first thing. The second thing is you need to include your entire code. And make sure that you include your code as text. It's better to use text as screen uh, uh, rather than screenshots, because text, the person who wants to help you can uh, copy your code and and run it on their Python interpreter. But if you if, if you include screenshots, uh, they are images, and it's hard for other people to try out your code. Mm. If you ask this on Stack Overflow, your question would get closed because if if you ask it, oh, we're using a screenshot rather than uh, the text version of your code. Uh, the question would get closed because there are uh, very strong rules in uh, Stack Overflow to, to, to have a high-quality question-and-answer site. 
So that's the second element. The third element is you need to include your entire screenshot, uh, entire error traceback, sorry. So from the beginning up to the end. That was the third element. And the last element, the fourth element, is you need to highlight your code. Just like that. You see this is much more visible and easier for others to troubleshoot. So the course interface has that function there that you can highlight your code. On Stack Overflow, oh, you also have that capability. So just go to Ask Question, you write your curl here and highlight it and then use this curly bracket. Yeah, that's it. If you ask a good questions, the odds are that you're going to get a good answer as well. So I hope this makes sense and I hope I showed you something that you didn't know. And I'll talk to you later. See you.